All right, welcome back. Our time right now is 9.15. Well, can you opt your child out of some homework? It's an age-old debate, but many DMV parents are talking about it in, in some private online chat groups. All right, Aisha Khan joins us now, and some parents obviously support opting out. Others say, no, maybe we could even give them a little bit more because <laughs> homework is necessary. What'd you find? Yeah, you know, some parents say there are just too many nights where their kid is having a complete meltdown because they're so frustrated with the assignment. Other parents say having homework helps them understand what their child is learning at school. Now, these are all discussions, as you mentioned, happening among parents and some private online groups and even at the bus stop actually some parents believe homework is an unnecessary burden on both students and parents and that too often teachers assign homework for the sake of assigning homework they also argue that too much homework can cause considerable harm by raising levels of frustration and anxiety other parents are asking why opt out they believe homework could help kids build certain life skills they come home I don't think that they should be burdened with extra supplemental work, right? Uh, children should be able to, you know, um, come home and feel a sense of relief, uh, be able to just, you know, hang out and let loose. I do believe it's useful, but it's right now it's not being applied properly. I think it's being applied in a very clumsy way. They're just throwing things out there. These are valuable lessons and they aren't always easy. I think if we always are looking for the easy path, then we may miss some learning opportunities. All right, so I checked with several school districts asking if families are allowed to opt out of homework. Arlington Public Schools, they tell me that some elementary schools have a no homework policy except for 30 minutes of daily reading. There is no opt out in their policy. MCPS says for grades K through eight, homework should be assigned three to five times a week and should be considered the rule rather than the exception to daily activity. In Loudoun County Public Schools, as a general rule, students in grades one through three should spend no more than 30 minutes minutes daily doing homework. Kids in grades uh, four through five should spend no more than 60 minutes doing homework. Guys, this is a forever debate and uh, especially very timely with kids who are now back in school now. Wow. Um, all right, so we have a new way to vote in our Fox 5 Live Insta poll. Uh, you can see that QR code right there in the upper right of uh, side of your screen. You can scan it and vote instantly on today's question, which is should families have the choice of opting out of homework for their kids? You can join the conversation by voting at fox5dc.com or downloading the Fox 5 app. Guys, back over to you. That was not even a Wizard conversation in my household. Like, no, yeah, right. <laughs> right. 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 We're all talking about debates yeah. about this. Yeah. Thought, yeah. I'm a firm believer that any any aspect, any sacrifice you make in life should prepare you for the next yes, step of life, absolutely. right? So yeah. it's something that you you have to do. And there are many positives that will come out of it. Yes, it's frustrating. Yes, it's stressful. But life is frustrating and mm -hmm. life is stressful. Yeah. And the better prepared you can be for that next step, right. the better you will be in the long run. Well, the problem is, I think, is when you start talking about opting out, Opting means option, right? So right. that means that you opt out of doing the same homework that now I am having exactly. to do, mm -hmm. and that just causes more division within the classroom. You got right, it. Right, and, and when are we going to get to the point where we let the people who have learned how to teach, teach? Mm -hmm. I mean, stop. Uh, when are we going to get to the point where we stop going in the classroom and stop telling the teachers who are educated and have gone to school to teach and all the principals and all the other educators who have set all this up, and now we got people on the outside mm -hmm. saying, oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that because it's uncomfortable. It's like you said, life is uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. Life is filled with challenges. So I don't understand this whole notion of these children can't be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. They're children. They're always uncomfortable. It almost yeah. sets up a, a generation of yes. people who are not going to be prepared for what life <laughs> right. has it's to throw at them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's why you go to school. Right, exactly. It yeah. really and the is, same so. people that are worried about the uncomfortability now better not come back and say they didn't get a good education. Mm, yeah. There you there go. go. Yeah, they need to homeschool. Yeah. That's come what on. I think that's well, the option. Yeah. That's the option. Come on. Uh-huh. Well, come <laughs>